just when you decided which Konkin again, they come out with another one. Hey everybody, this is Cal from Takuban. Today we're on the campuses of the University of Washington in Seattle. And we are here to take a look at this guy. Meet the Fjall Robin Konkin number two. Now I'm gonna put this on my chest here so I can easily talk about it. This is the fourth Konkin backpack that we've taken a look at. We've taken a look at the Konkin Classic, the Konkin Mini, and the Konkin Laptop 15-inch backpack. You can find all those videos on our YouTube channel, Takuma Prime. This backpack is the uh, upgraded version of the classic Konkin backpack. As the name suggests, it's the Konkin number two. Uh, the second version of the Konkin Classic, if you will, uh, comes with an upgraded fabric. This is the G1000. Um, it comes with leather trimmings. And... We'll, we'll, we'll see what, what the third feature is uh, once we get inside the bag. So with this video, we are going to kind of go through the bag, show you what you can expect if you were to purchase yours, um, maybe help you decide if this is the right Konkin for you, because um, there's a lot of choices out there. Now the bag we have here is in the navy color. It's a beautiful dark blue, and I've worn this black so you can kind of get an idea of how it contrasts with the black. I know a lot of people think that through the pictures, the Konkin or the navy color may look a little darker. It's not really, it's, it's got this very handsome, um, nice blue color to it. The fabric, like I mentioned earlier, is the upgraded fabric that Konkin or Fjall Robin has. This is the G1000. It's very soft. It is more water resistant and it's meant to be more durable than the Vinon F that's featured on the other Konkin backpacks that we've looked at. Um, they use their own Greenland wax and they wax this two times uh, to give it that uh, characteristic of being water resistant. Now, the Greenland wax is available for you to purchase, so uh, through your ownership of this backpack, you would uh, you can use it to make it more durable over time. The overall shape uh, and design of the backpack is the same. It's the same dimensions as the Fjallraven and Kong and Classic, uh, so you can fit the same number of things. But we have this backpack pack, so let's uh, take a look at what we've got in here to help you visualize how you may be able to use this backpack. In the front, we have the small pocket, as is with all Konkins. Uh, it's big enough for us to fit a wallet, a camera case, and a cell phone. Um, the more things you have though, it is a little bit harder to take things out and kind of push things back in because of this lid. Um, it's got a good zipper. You can take a look at the details there. It uh, meets what we've come to expect with the Fjall Robin Konkins. The zippers are the same up top. Now this is a U-shaped line uh, main compartment which will open up, continuing out with the outside of the backpack. It still has the same side pockets, which uh, we're, we're not particularly fans of. We don't find it to be too useful. You can see I'm having a hard time even just putting my hand in there. Uh, so I've seen people with small umbrellas and small bottles that they've been able to pack in there. Uh, we haven't had much luck. On the back, uh, the Konkin number two still features the same cross strap that helps distribute weight and makes the entire backpack easier to, to carry. Uh, Fjall Robin, of course, made this Konkin famous because it helps school children prevent back problems, and this goes a long ways to helping it. You'll notice that the straps are the same as the Konkin Classic straps. So very thin, um, standard down here where they have this uh, clasp. It is now metal instead of plastic. We'll get to that in a little bit. But overall, the construction uh, is solid. Stitching still feels good. Now let's go on to the inside of the backpack. And of course, the two handles, except now they're in leather. Uh, very nice leather, might I add. Feels smooth. I like the contrast stitching. It's, it's a nice set of handles. So here we go. We're gonna go into the main backpack. And for this, I'm going to Put this on my chest here. Makes it a little easier to take these things out and show you what we have in here. So, what have we been able to pack? Well, we got our sunglass case that we couldn't fit in the front pocket. We got our water bottle, 750 milliliters, which we couldn't fit in the side pocket. We have our battery pack. Ah, some Girl Scout cookies, because, you know, we could always use our snacks. Uh, by the way, if you like these, tell us what your favorite flavors are, just for fun. Uh, in the comments below. We have 
a book you may want to read uh, for school, for the commute. And of course, we have our 13 inch MacBook Pro here um, that we have in a laptop sleeve. Of course, this being the, the regular Konkin, it doesn't have the laptop compartment. So we put ours in a sleeve, which will fit. Um, you should have no problem with the 14 inch laptop, 15 inches might be a stretch uh, and then this is the third difference that we've been able to tell between this and the original cocking classic but look here what do we find is a seat cushion that's right did i get this upside down again yeah there you go so in the original cocking uh fjall robin included a foam pad literally a, a piece of foam uh, that they put in the back there and they called it a seat cushion. We thought it was packaging material. Here with the Konkin number two, they actually made it look like a seat cushion, which is nice. Um, you can see the G1000 there to denote the fabric. Uh, it just, it's more believable. Okay, uh, yeah, this is not packaging material, this is a seat cushion. So it's nice that they included that. Um, the sleeve in the back here really isn't big enough for anything else yeah we couldn't get our laptop to fit in here maybe you could get your tablet or your kindle in there uh, but probably the best use of that space in the back is this foam pad uh, we're not going to try to put this in right now and on the side here you have your tags your care tags this backpack is made in vietnam if you're curious and then you have your classic name tag there where you put your name address in case it gets lost so shout out to the brand there um so that's that's the bag um take a look at the detail stitching here on this side overall the retail price for this backpack is 130 dollars that'll put it about 50 55 bucks uh more than the konkin classic what you get with this uh 50 difference is again the fabric the leather handles you get a more mature look overall with this backpack um, you'll notice that the logo here is no longer the white background along with the red uh, uh, Arctic Fox. It's a, it's a, it's a more sophisticated grown up look, right? Um, we don't particularly like the change here. We think that it doesn't maybe really make that much of a difference. And if anything, it's just a little sharper. It kind of goes against the rest of the bag. Kind of feels a little weird. Um, and we don't like the straps. After trying out the laptop version of this backpack, we, it just makes it hard to, to use this strap. So um, that's the only thing we don't like about it. We wish it had a padded strap. The good thing is the Konkin number two version is available in the laptop backpack, but only in the 15 inch, not the 13 or the 17. So um, if you like this, uh, style without the dedicated laptop compartment do consider getting a uh, shoulder pad add-on uh, if you can find it in stock they always seem to be sold out um, but there you go this is the Fjall Robin Konkin number two hopefully this video is helpful if you have any questions feel free to ask us in the comments below um, and that's it thank you very much for watching shout out to Japan